Hello everyone, Rabi here. Um, I'm just gonna go over with you guys today on how to add video into a VR environment. Um, and uh, very basic, um, not too complex. I'm not creating a video player, but just how to have a video play in a VR environment. That's kinda, uh, that's what I'm gonna be covering today. Cool, all right. It's like straightforward. Click with the right button here. I'm gonna create a prefab cube. I have that cube here. Sort of like creating, sort of gonna create a screen. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, and keep yourself updated of many videos I'm gonna be posting here. So thanks again for stopping by. All right, cool. So I'm gonna just create a fluctuating uh, kind of screen. I think that will do the job. Um, again, I can use 3D software to create different types of screens, of formats, shapes, and I can add that video there. Um, there's so much that you can do. Be creative while you um, have all those tools. Cool. Just a very decent screen like this. I think it'll be pretty fine. And uh, I'm gonna select the cube. I just can, can, can rename here, uh, video screen. Pretty good, right there. And what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna come to add components and I will just type video here, video player. Video player. All right, so here in video player, I have, let me just close, there you go. So I have a video clip, I have a video clip here, um, no clips here. I have um, play on a wake, uh, wait for the face frame, loop, playback speed, render mode. So that's a lot that I have here uh, that I can play with. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, I have a few videos. Let me just find the videos that I can. Right here, I have videos. I have a bunch of videos here. Um, my videos are MP4. Um, you might try using different video formats. Uh, my, my, I have a uh, M, uh, M4V here. This video is working perfectly on this format, uh, but try different formats, see what works. My videos are, I have an MOV here, very high resolution type of uh, formats, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, I will click on the video screen again, and I have a video clip. I'm gonna just drag it, let me just drag this one. I'm gonna just drag it to that video clip right there. So I have a horse video clip here. Um, and that's kind of pretty simple. When I click on a play button, what's gonna do is it's gonna play on all week. It's like no secret. So let's see what it does. Just click on play. Right there. So that's a video uh, play is reversed here. And um, I have to reorient the video. Let me see re uh, reorienting the uh, the screen, what well, that's gonna do. Let me just, uh, that's a position. Let's rotate 180 degrees right there. Then let me see here, double check. There you go, 180 degrees. 180, that will do the job, let me see. Right there, perfect now. So I just rotated the, um, the object and things are perfectly fine, uh, nicely adjusted. So the size of my screen here that I created, um, it will, uh, it's pretty similar to the, um, to the, the dimension of the video. Other thing, as you can see, the video stopped here because it's not looping. So I can click on loop. Uh, let me just play again. Click on the select checked loop here and just play it. And I will just play on loop um, the video. 
So this is like basic and how to uh, create to add a video. Uh, but there is other options for you to uh, click and trigger and the video play um, again playing with buttons and um, connecting those buttons to um, to the video uh, you definitely can do that but just having an object playing this way um, it can be really really fun um, to add in a VR environment cool so just have fun uh, add your own videos I think it would be um, really great um, have fun with that right again thanks for visiting subscribe to the channel and uh, I see you later